Welcome to Mike's Second Toys. Well, welcome to Mike. Welcome to Mike's Second Toys. Welcome to Welcome to Mike's Second Toys. This is the MPOW Iron Virtual 7.1 Gaming Headset. And boy does it remind me of a Transformer. <laughs> Give you a quick look on the back. Oh, very nice packaging. So you get a set of instructions, an audio cable, and I love, if you can see there, it's actually corded. It's got that nice sort of material coating on the cable. A USB cable, and again, it's not your typical rubber or plastic uh, covering on the cable, it's that nice material and it's branded by MPOW, which is nice. So they haven't just got a generic USB cable and throw it in the box. Now again, let me show you the packaging. It's really nice. The way they've presented this, it's almost as if this is a very high-end premium uh, gaming headset that will cost you hundreds. No, not even a hundred. Not even half a hundred <laughs> less. Check the video description for more details on the price. So let's get this out of the box. So let me just show you what else you get in this package. So apart from the instruction manual, they give you an extra year's warranty for free. And you also get a guide for the driver installation. And I'll show you what that driver installation and software application can do for this headset. It's really cool. But first, let's take a look at the features and the design. Now, as I said before, it's given me that Transformers vibe, which I really like. And I must say, quite light, very light, in fact. They look heavier than they actually are. And to me, that's a good thing, because if you're a gamer, a lot of hardcore gamers will be wearing their headsets for hours on end. And this is going to have no impact whatsoever in terms of weight. So I'll just show you here on the side panels. Very nice looking. These will light up and you can actually customize what color you want these to be. And here we have the microphone and it's got that nice clicking sound so you can obviously move this in small increments to whatever position suits you. And then here you have your adjustments for the headband. And I must say on the headband, very soft padding right there and of course on the cups itself super soft very nice firm and smooth adjustments then on the headband you've got the MPOW branding and then right there at the top of each ear cup you've got a nice sort of chrome looking logo very nice indeed. And then just like the cables that you got in the box, the headset cable has this nice corded material coating. And then we get to the control unit itself where you would plug your USB cable and the audio cable. Now, if you want your headset to light up, you know how they do, <laughs> you would need to make sure that your USB cable is connected. And then on here, you have your controls so that you can turn the lighting on the headset on and off, the microphone on and off, and the volume control here. And I like this, this is nice. And it's not heavy at all, it's super light. Again, all of this matters because if you're gonna have this headset on for a long time, what you don't want is the control and the cabling dragging down on your head like that because you may think that's neither here nor there but trust me when you're playing for hours on end it really does make a difference now apart from the various applications you can use this headset for you can also connect it directly to your gamepad controller 
Now, as you can see here, I have the lighting activated and all I've done is introduce this headset to a power source from USB. So I've got it plugged into a computer. However, if you download the driver installation, the software, you can do a lot more with this headset. Have a look. So here it is, and as you can see on the left hand side, you can control the audio, the microphone, and the lighting. So right now it's on constant. And now I'm going to change it to the breathe setting. And then you have blink. You get the idea. Now, what I want to show you is that with any of these settings, apart from constant, you can speed things right up or slow things right down. But I think I'll keep it on a happy medium. But for me personally, I prefer it to be on constant and I prefer it to be on my favorite color, blue. But of course you can have it on any color you want and even use that palette above to mix and blend. And as you can see there, red appears to be the most vibrant. But I'm still sticking to my blue. Now, just before I do a microphone test, let me just bring the lights down and show you this going through its different colors. So what I've done now is I have disconnected the microphone from the camera and I have this headset plugged directly into the camera's microphone input. So what you're hearing is my voice through this mic and yet I'm nowhere near it. So that's pretty decent. So let me just uh, bring it really close and you can appreciate the sort of sound quality you're going to get when using the microphone on this headset. Okay, so I've switched back to my main editing microphone and yes, you can hear a huge difference, but you can't compare the two. It's like comparing a chicken to a horse. It just can't be done, okay? Because a gaming headset, the mic on it is not there for you to make proper audio recordings. It's for comms during gaming and the mic on this headset is more than good enough for that purpose. And you really do get a good sound quality from this headset whilst you're playing games. And I've listened to a bit of music through it and it's not bad at all. It's got decent bass, it's got decent highs. Listen, it's nice, it feels comfortable. This wasn't sent to me for free, okay? So there's a disclaimer for you. I bought these and I'm absolutely happy with them when it comes to a budget gaming headset. They're cheap compared to the real expensive ones, but they're up there in price compared to the real dirt cheap ones, okay? So check the video description for more information and for what you get, pretty decent. It's even got a voice changer on there, a bit gimmicky, but yeah, you can access all those features and customize this headset via the software. Thanks for watching and catch me next time on Mike's Tech and Toys plus Movie Memorabilia YouTube channel.